It's been a couple of weeks since the last update, but uh, or probably close to a month now actually, but in that time I've been working on mainly kind of a 3D printed enclosure for it. Something that uh, can hold all the parts together and be kind of fairly straightforward to print and uh, kind of suitable for mounting on a wall or an extra piece of equipment. Uh, in that time I've also been working on um, uh, kind of making the software a little bit more robust and more reusable and on that note I have started work on or actually pretty much finished a version of the system for use on the main door so it doesn't have the, the same uh, mechanic as the kind of equipment access control so there's no uh, tagging in to act activate a piece of equipment it's just a case of scan tag verify unlock and then stop so it's a slightly kind of different system so I'm just going to quickly run through some of these bits and pieces now and some of the issues I've had. One of the main things I've been looking at over the past few weeks has been the uh, kind of box or enclosure design. This is um, it, the electronics need to be housed in a box that can be mounted on a wall or against a piece of equipment and then also kind of present the display, the LED, the RFID reader to the user. Now this is the panel I knocked out kind of very early on and like I mentioned at the time I did a few experiments just to see how I could communicate information just through the design rather than having to display it on the screen and so uh, which is why I kind of came up with this design. Um, the original plan was to laser cut it but uh, laser cut out of wood or plastic like this but I used to do quite a bit of uh, kind of enclosure design using 3D printed plastic and so I decided to kind of revisit that and so I went through uh, quite a long kind of iterative process just uh, trying kind of different methods or different techniques to get to, um, to get a look that, that kind of works and so I've got a few different uh, experiments here just to talk about so this is one of the early ones I believe and so this was a uh, kind of a sim simple kind of front panel this is big enough to kind of house the screen so the RFID reader would fit in the back a slightly raised thing and recess the slot in there the OLED screen kind of fits into here these kind of lugs fit perfectly within the panel and the LED kind of slots into that hole there and I've got BB down there for Bill Brighton and I also put in a very small kind of channel around here to try and get us some kind of circular design because I'm printing it this way up it was it presented some problems so for example this is uh, one I went on to kind of fairly soon and um, realizing the width between these two circles wasn't big enough it was barely printed at all this one's a lot bigger but because uh, like I say it prints the other way around you end up with a large overhang which causes uh, issues and um, after a few more kind of attempts I uh, ended up kind of chamfering the edges and came up with this V groove so it prints perfectly and the end result is uh, really kind of quite nice it works very well this one um, I've also kind of switched the lettering over to Bill Brighton member system and again trying different techniques rather than going all the way through I thought okay half halfway through perhaps but again overhangs didn't work so well and then carrying with that train a few different things it's going all the way through but then recessing it um, kind of different sizes, different techniques. Um, in this one actually this is fairly close to the final revision. The LED um, is still there but I uh, put about half a mil of uh, plastic over the front. Um, so in some situations you might not want the LED but if you do then it's there and it will shine through really clearly. And that kind of worked uh, quite nicely. Again there after a kind of a number of revisions went through um, the kind of positioning of all these it took a little bit of effort but there they are they kind of work really well now and um, slightly kind of grooved here so it slots into the rear enclosure and so this like I say, took about a dozen attempts each time I printed out tweak something and print it out again and it's one of the things I love about 3d printing the ability to kind of keep on iterating on design like that it, it's so quick I mean just messing around of an evening I could go through two or three different revisions and uh, ended up with something that kind of works really well. Uh, I was experimenting a bit with uh, different kind of coloured plastic. Um, this was a bit of a kind of a jokey attempt, but actually really like the yellow. The only downside was the uh, uh, coloured LED, which shines through the the colour versus the yellow. It washes it out and doesn't represent a very good colour at all. Um, but other than that, the print was um, 
very nice. And again, in the, in the back, I kind of um, just about make out initials kind of just recessed into there. It's another experiment. Oh, and this uh, kind of fairly late stage edition. Uh, this is a three mil hole, which again, is not there if you don't want it, but if you do, um, on the final one here, and bolt kind of fits perfectly through. And so that is uh, there to hang keys on, like so. And so the end result is uh, quite nice. The rear enclosure is pretty straightforward, although that did go through quite a few iterations. Um, different ways of kind of mounting and recessing parts. So these boards, um, there's a slightly recessed channel in here for this circuit, which fits in perfectly. Uh, same goes for this one. There's a kind of switch to panel on the side here for a temper switch. Um, and that does need a few more tweaks. Uh, the buzzer in here kind of recesses. So I held it a few things in with Bluetech, but the idea is they'll then be just hot glued in to finalize the mounting. You can see all the different bits and pieces on the front panel there. And so then that would uh, clip together and screw on the wall. And so obviously having a 3D print and having a bit of time means you can come up with something that looks really quite nice. The alternative obviously is just to use a regular plastic enclosure. It would work just as well. You could mount something on the front, maybe even kind of write a printer label to go on the top, but it doesn't look anywhere near as good as something that's perfectly designed to accommodate it. Um, yeah, so it's uh, something I'm kind of very pleased with. Uh, the 3D print on this one isn't perfect. There's a few little marks where it's a bit too thin. Didn't go through. And uh, with all the connectors in place, it doesn't close quite enough. So I need to increase the depth of it uh, very slightly of the back enclosure. But this will, uh, this is kind of a finished um, unit now that's ready to go in place. So this is the finished system. You can see here it's uh, hooked up and running. The um, kind of amber or yellow uh, LED uh, shines through quite nicely. And everything's kind of in place. At the moment it's kind of hooked up with an ethernet cable and it's running online. And we've got a relay out here. And um, this is the piece of equipment it's running on. Um, we'll kind of run through here to interrupt the power. And this is a lovely kind of solid state relay, really cheap on eBay. Um, a five volt in, they've got kind of uh, circuitry inside, so it's a lovely kind of clean kind of feed, no need to kind of filter or protect on the digital side. Um, a red LED to show status, and it'll switch kind of DC up to a, a lot of amps. Um, so it's kind of perfect for this. And so it's kind of set up, so you kind of scan your tag. You've got blue light to show it's processing, and then red and the downward kind of tone for a failure. And so a success, so in this case here, get green, the screen comes on, you can see the relay is active, and the equipment is powered up. So obviously in the real world you would hang your keys like so, or so the RFID fob is roughly touching, and that would kind of hang on the wall and the equipment would stay active until you remove your keys. At which point it uh, kind of timer runs down and it will eventually turn off. The other use case I've been looking at in the past few days is for my main door entry system. Uh, so we have um, one of these kind of standard kind of cheap two line character displays running um, with an existing system in place. So the enclosure is really nice. So I'm going to stick with that. So I've moved from the OLED screen over to one of these for this project. But the on this board, the display connector is a kind of standard I squared C. So it works equally as well with this screen as it does with um, the OLED screen, which is really useful. So the, the hardware is similar. Um, I go for a piezo buzzer, OLED screen, RFID reader in there, on that one. And uh, a kind of board completely the network adapter. And um, probably not gonna have a tamper switch or LED in this case. Um, but that's kind of the setup that will be retrofitting the existing system, We're obviously kind of switching over to fairly standardized hardware. Um, the only thing that has come out of this that I'm not happy with about this board uh, is this kind of permanent connection here. It's, um, it, it works, it, they kind of do go hand in hand, but 
if one part needs to be replaced, it's not easy with these kind of solder joins. Um, so I think the next version of this board's got to have that as a removable connector. So this project's now coming to a close, I'd say, or at least I hope so, to be honest. Um, but the I've got quite a few bits and pieces in place. Everything's kind of running fairly well. Uh, the software is kind of broken out into a couple of libraries, so it means I can um, use a very similar code base between these two systems, which do very different things, um, which is really nice. Um, the enclosure design is working quite well, and um, time will tell as to how useful it is, or whether it needs any changes, but, um, but it's looking good. I've still got the, the web stuff to do, but that should be a lot more uh, almost straightforward. For now, um, this door entry system side of it will hopefully be installed in the next few days and see how robust this system is in long-term use.